I gotta be honest here, having an IP camera that just works as intended, doesn't force you into any ecosystem and is easy to set up with something like Blue Iris or your own DVR is kind of cool. This is the WGCC 4 megapixel IP camera. With a resolution of 2560 by 1440, it supports up to 25 frames per second with a bit rate of 128 to 16,384 kilobits per second. It can be powered by a standard 12 volt connection or use power over ethernet. It has night vision built in with up to 20 meters or 65 feet and it has a 3.6 millimeter 78.9 degree wide angle lens. It's ONVIF, FTP, DDNS, and email capable, and it has built in noise reduction and some kind of a fog reduction thing, but I haven't tested that out yet. And like I said, I have to be a little honest here. This is one of those IP cameras that kind of sort of hide who they are, but it just works and it's cheap and it's easy to set up and it just works. Okay, so let's give you a little backstory here. Most of my experience with IP cameras are with companies like, you know, Reolink, Amcrest, Zmodo, etc. And with the exclusion of Zmodo, companies like Reolink and Amcrest can actually hook up to most NVRs or DVRs, you know, because they have that whole ONVIF thing going on. Now, although I did put the name brand of this camera, not only in the title, but also in the beginning of the video, finding out what the brand name is, is actually a little difficult. And the reason why is like, okay, this box, very plain brown box, which I'm used to seeing actually, especially with real link. They just, they focus more on the camera, less on the packaging, and they just give you a generic brown box. However, they include their logo and their branding all over the box. But with this one, it literally just says IP camera. And on the top, it says four megapixel POE IP bullet security bullet camera, new. I mean, it's like they don't want people to know who makes this camera. They don't want to know what their brand name is. It's a little weird. Furthermore, the WGCC I pulled from the email sent to me in request to review this camera. But if you look on Amazon, you can look around for a little bit, but you won't actually find a name or a brand of that camera. And if you go into the description of it, it will take you to a website that actually brands it as Omni. That's O-M-N-I. I know I'm kind of rambling on here. Long story short, branding is a little confusing. But honestly, that doesn't really matter because this camera was actually pretty interesting. Interesting in the way that I, I plugged it into my network, I found out what the IP address, I logged in with Internet Explorer in order to do some very basic setup things on it. And then I pointed Blue Iris to it and it inspected, it discovered, it populated everything it needed and it was up and running before I could just blink. And the reason why this is a little significant to me is because working with, you know, cameras like Reolink and Amcrest, I can't remember which one, if not both, required a little bit of Googling to, you know, get the correct path to put into Blue Iris. Whereas this one was just easy to set up, it recognized it, and I put in my username and password and it worked. And I really think I want to maintain that theme of this review. It, it just works. It's an IP camera, it connects to your NVR or your DVR, it's easy to discover, it's open source, anything can access it, and it just, it just works. Now, I did tinker around a little bit and I went through the Amazon reviews and they do claim to have an app that works with the camera itself. I downloaded the app, I tried to scan the QR code, it didn't recognize it, I tried to type in the IP address manually with my username and password, it didn't work. So they claim to have an app, I can't get it to work, and I don't, I don't know, maybe I have the wrong app. But to be completely and brutally honest, I didn't really care because this IP camera is more for those people who want to hook up additional IP cameras to their network that are just going to work with an existing NVR or DVR that they already have. And they don't have to worry about, you know, their own little ecosystem apps to run on their phone in order to get full functionality of the camera. So for me, I have it hooked up to Blue Iris. It works beautifully. In fact, when it comes to functionality wise, it actually is more reliable than my real link cameras, but I'll probably touch base more on that in a future video because when it comes down to reliability, it's not losing connectivity like some of my real link cameras do. But hey, with all that blabbering out of the way, let's give you a demo of some of the quality that you can expect from this camera.
Okay, so I'm using the microphone on my iPhone in order to record this audio because the camera itself does not have any microphones built in. But this should give you a pretty good idea of the way it looks in a shadowy overcast, but on a sunny day from about 15 to 20 feet away. If I move a little bit closer, you might catch a little lack of uh, dynamic range. I think with this camera, it does have a little bit of trouble distinguishing, let's say, my face from a bright background. But I won't know more until I get it into post and actually edit it. But I will leave the video untouched so you can get the full experience. So I have to say it is actually pretty decent. I don't think I'm ever going to capture like a license plate with this thing, but it looks pretty decent. But then we move on to night vision. And I got a few quarrels with night vision. It's not terrible, but it just kind of rubs me the wrong way. If you take a look here in this example, you can see me walking up. And the thing about this camera, I don't know why it does this, but it seems to add this, this ghosting effect to the video. So when I move, there's a little bit of ghosting, maybe it's a low frame rate, I don't really know what's going on. But either way, it makes it a little distorted and difficult to make out a moving face. Of course, if I stand still, it looks pretty decent. And if I get closer, it looks even decenter. Yes, decenter is a word. But either way, that ghosting, that, that, I don't know, the artifacts, pixelation, whatever you want to call it, it, it's a little distracting and kind of takes away from the quality of the camera itself, um, but it still looks pretty decent. But just keep in mind that for whatever reason, this camera does not have any microphone options built in. So if you did want to add this to your system and you wanted the ability to record audio and whatever thing you're recording at the moment, you won't have that option. So overall for this camera, I can say this. It is super simple to set up. I mean, you plug it in, you log into the IP address, you make a few configurations, and you can hook it up to whatever you might have on your network. It technically is supposed to have an app, at least says the Amazon product page, but I can't get it to work either way. I don't know if you need it. The quality is, is pretty decent. I would say probably decent to good. I don't know, an arbitrary rating of like seven out of 10. But the night vision quality does suffer from a little bit of ghosting, which might distort somebody's face if they're moving. Overall, I actually really like this thing. Because it's so simple to set up, it's easy to hook up to an MVR or DVR or whatever software you might be running. It's just open source. It's not forcing you into a closed ecosystem, not requiring you to download any kind of app to get it set up. Because it's so simple and it's just meant to work with whatever you already have, I like it. My only two wishes are, I wish it handled night vision just a little bit better, and I really wish it had a microphone. Maybe you need a microphone, maybe you don't need a microphone, but it's just nice to have. I mean, I do know that this is a pretty affordable camera, and it's down there in that range where you can afford to add multiple ones to your system without any kind of major cost. And it is super nice that it can be powered over ethernet. But I think if you were to add a little microphone into this, it just round it off and make it just that much better. But hey guys, if you want to learn more about this product, I will link down in the description below for you to check out more maybe detailed specifications or look at some different customer reviews on Amazon. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, of course, post them down below. Thank you for watching and have yourself a good day.